Hello everyone, on the decks here, and welcome to another episode of my SMP adventures. Uh, it's been pretty much a whole night since I last um, dealt with my peat bog farm and actually noticed a problem. Uh, as the time stands right now, I don't really have any way to automatically supply bog earth to the uh, peat bog. I have actually just manually placed there all the other peat bog that I had. And I realized uh, there are a couple of things I should be doing. Uh, basically, there are two options for me right now. Uh, the first one is setting up an automatic system that will refu refill uh, this machine with peat bog. This is a little bit more complicated than, I, uh, than you guys might think because there needs to be proper inventory management and proper auto-crafting system, which, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure exactly how to do just yet. However, the second option is much more simpler. It will be simply require me to keep manually adding bog earth. However, I want to add gates uh, to this thing here and here. So I would be turning off my pit fired engine when there are no uh, bog earth here because I noticed that basically I kept running the engine, the pit fired engine here, and this was empty and it was simply wasting pit over time. So it's a temporary solution, uh, which I'm going to have to do anyway at some point, because I'm going to need to set up um, the buildcraft uh, gates and laser system anyway. It's extremely useful, and it's pretty much the only way um, to get the to get most of the auto-crafting made, without logistic pipes, that is. So for this, I'm going to need some lasers. Let's see here. I'm going to need these lasers, and I'm going to need two of them. And just one second. Alright, so I'm going to need... Uh, I think I'm going to make three of these lasers. So that's six diamonds, uh, a lot of redstone, and some obsidian. And where's my... There we go. Just about to run out of obsidian. And obsidian is quite valuable in this world, since... You actually have to go and destroy uh, lava blocks. I'm not exactly used to it yet. Like, I'm used to having uh, uh, my... Um, I forgot their name. Where do I want to place this? I think I want to place it right here. Or, no, here. I'm used to having a transmutation grid to simply get everything that I need, so it's a lot nicer might be a little bit uh, less like a little bit too easy some of you guys might say and i can understand why but i'm used to simply just used to it that's a bad part of it of it all all right so in order to power these guys for the time being i'm gonna use electrical engines because they are simply extremely easy to use and i do have a surplus of energy at the moment so i'm considering where do i want to place these guys i think i'm simply gonna place them here so I'm going to have my power coming from down here. Let's see. It will be lower voltage. And if there, you know what, if there is if there will be a problem, I'm simply going to place another MFE here. So I'm going to need some fiber cables and three engines. Uh, maybe just two more, actually. So I'm gonna make all those engines, you guys know how it's done already, and it's quite boring, we're back. Alright, so I just made five engines, actually I just need three for what I want to do right now, but I'm gonna use them in the future, pretty much sure of it. Uh, they're quite useful, no matter how you look at it. Alright, so also apparently I broke some wire here. Where does this wire come from? Oh yeah, from here. Alright, so I'm gonna need this. Oh wait, this might be a problem then. Oops. Let's see. I need. Can the wire. No, but then it won't send the current. Let's see. Can I get. Um, I have to use jacketed wire, I believe. Yep. No other way I can see it working. Do I have enough? I have none at all. Alright, so I'm gonna make some. It's a very useful thing anyway. 
Let's make as much as I can. Because I will use them anyway in the future. Let's see how much does this give me. Ah, exactly. <laughs> Was cutting random numbers and got exact, the exact uh, count. No spare parts of any sort. Alright, so... This will go here, and here, and here. Not the prettiest thing ever, but you guys know me. And I'm gonna need to place some cover. Oh, actually, I don't need covers. I'm simply gonna replace the the blocks. Let's get some more cobble. Thank God I don't have a problem with cobble just yet, so I can just replace everything. All right, so I'm gonna have this t three corner ones uh, as the electrical engines. So that's one, two, three. And I'm gonna have to turn them on in some way. Let's see, I wanna do it. Getting uh, hidden redstone stuff done might be a little bit annoying at some times, but I really enjoy doing it. It's like I, I look at it as a challenge of testing uh, my abilities to work with whatever I have. I'm gonna need a lot more covers because I'm gonna use them. So I can start carving away some. Where did I place my saw? Let's make this amount, it's enough. Alright, so I will want my lever right here, because here I'm gonna place the assembly table, pretty much. So, you know what? I'm gonna have it in the corner. So let's collect all the excess materials. So this wire will come from here, 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 all the way here. It should work, yep. It's already receiving current as well. And let's hide everything. So I need this and this. And here I've got these covers and I need the bricks, the brick ones. And that's one. Oh, they don't want to cooperate from here. It can be done, but they refuse to cooperate. You know what? I'm gonna leave it just like this. Because I'm gonna have lasers here anyway which will hide most of it. So I'm gonna want the lasers facing up, so place them like this. so, one, two, three. And I'm gonna have to rotate the engines. There we go. And my assembly table, which I didn't create yet. You know what? I'm gonna have my assembly table here so it can be more easily uh, work with with a, ch with a nearby chest or something. So I'm gonna have to rotate these guys. I don't know if you can actually rotate them. About to find out. Alright, so I need five diamonds. Oh, I need some obsidian. Crap. Um, Alright, I'm gonna get some more obsidian manually in one of the caves that I previously d dug. And there are apparently monsters nearby. All right, and I'm gonna get, do it all done off camera probably, unless something interesting happens. Be right back. All right, guys, I just went ahead and got some more uh, obsidian. So let's set this up. I need a diamond gear. So that's four diamonds and the fifth one. That's four of those as well. Four of those. I got enough of those, and I should have enough sticks. Yep, for spare gear. I 
most definitely will set up a system to automate gear making. This is quite annoying. All right, one, two, redstone and obsidian. Awesome, assembly table. So let's eat something first. All right, so I'm gonna place it here. Um, should work. Let's see here. Oh, it, it won't do anything just yet. And I also want to have some sort of an indicator so I know when the machine is working and when it's not. All right, and let's start making stuff. Let's have a chest nearby because it will require one. And get some of every material. Let's have some of those, some of those. I need some lapis. Uh, let's get two diamonds. Um, a lot of redstone. And I went all sorts of colorings. I'm not sure which can I have. I should be able to have red. If not, I'm simply gonna get some. Let's have some yellow. I will need green as well. Um, all right. So let's have the chest here. I'm not sure if I can do anything without. Um, without red wire, it has. To, I have to. Must have red wire. This is a problem. All right. So let's see. What gates do I need? I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna use just gold gates. Like gold gates are multifunctional and extremely useful. I'm considering using autoarchic gates instead. Now, for what I need right now, gold gates will be enough. All right, golden ore gate. Um, what? Ah, all right. So I'm going the red pipe wire and the blue pipe wire and the redstone chip. So let's make, yeah, I need red. And they're all working, awesome. Oh wait, now they should work. Whoa. <laughs> Electrical engine generate crappy amount of energy. Like where really it's trash. Complete garbage. Yeah, I really need to get the tree farm going and set up a biofuel system. This is horrible. Some graphical glitches here. I'm not sure what's going on. It's like consuming stuff, but not exactly what's going on. I think it's just a visual bug. Yeah, all right, let's go get some. Um, some red flowers. Shouldn't be a problem, just need my sickle. Very simple, simply right click and harvest. Can you do this? Like, can I power? No, it has to be a dark room for this uh, to work. Should I set up a dark room? Just to automate this? Um, I don't know how, how much do I really need it. So this should be enough for now. Six flowers, that's 12 dye, red dyes. Yeah, it's, it's enough. I'm more, more worried about the fact that I'm generating pretty much almost no energy at all because of uh, I'm using electrical engines, which are complete junk. Quite bad. 
All right, that process is going to take a while, no doubt. All right, so while I'm waiting for these gates, gates it's going to take a long time as well. Um, I'm going to start setting up a tree farm. So I can also start uh, creating biomass and biofuel. It's extremely useful, and since I have no oil anywhere close to my base, and I want to try and refrain from using uh, teleport pipes, um, this is my best way to go, I think. All right, so for a tree farm, let's see, what do I need? One second. All right, so for a tree farm, I'm going to need an arboretum and a logger. Let's see. For each one, I'm going to need these new types of things, yeah, and a small circuit board as well. Uh, both require just a small circuit board, right? Yeah. Oh, do I ever need this new stuff, which I don't yet have? So let's get them made in my thermionic fabricator. And actually, let's see. Uh, yeah, apparently I should have kept that thing running. That uh, engine. Because now I'm going to have to wait for this to power on again. Alright, so I'm going to get two more circuit boards as well. In the meantime, while this is running. Right here. So let's turn it on. I can't really read like an electrical engine. I can't decide how they work. I mean, I don't understand. And what the hell is a socket? What happens if I socket this in there? Will it be like better? What happens if I do this? Not this, but this. Where's my circuit? Will it be better now? No, oh, I can't take it out. Alright, don't know what this is doing. Um, I'll have to find out somewhere or the other. This doesn't seem any faster, to be honest. So, I don't know. Alright, can turn this off. Get this circuit out. I'm gonna get through the night, be right back. Alright, so I got through the night and this just finished, so I can get this out. And let's also make uh, this thing. And you know what, I'm gonna keep this on now. Because it's consuming a very low amount of EU and I don't really care about it, I'm generating enough. So, this is still crap. Alright. So I'm going to need some glass. Do I have enough? Oh, yeah, no problem. So, these circuit boards, and I'm going to need some um, sturdy machines as well. So, this too. And start with this for the logger and this for the arboretum. Alright, and I'm gonna need one more peat-fired engine. I will also need another um, chest. Another ender chest for my stuff. Keep forgetting the recipe every time. I just need two uh, green wool a chest and an ender pearl. I think I ran out of simple chests. Yep, I did. I can create some more though. Alright, two of those. Four blaze rods, an ender pearl, and a piece of wool. The green wool, of course. I also need the ink sack. Alright. So, four corners, obsidian, this, this, and this. Ender chest. Let's color the rightmost slot to be black. And I'm set. Alright, my plan here is to expand on this room over to that side over there to be my. Uh, build craft machinery room pretty much so this way I can also in the future more easily power these engines with proper power so right now um, I'm gonna cut a small opening here 
but um, why I'm saying this is because this is where I'm gonna set up my tree farm somewhere around here so this stuff don't have to travel too far and again I rather use no teleport or, speci or special mechanisms if I can avoid it alright so I will need Hamas and let's see how can I create Hamas mulch I don't have any yet compost I can create it's not that much of a problem but I can rather use fertilizer that's the only use for appetite pretty much no clue what this thing is yeah that's the only use for appetite so why not use it all right so this is temporary don't worry all right so common useful stuff let's get a whole stack of appetite and I need sand with it so let's, let's get two stacks of sand one and two and that's a lot of fertilizer and the funny part is that fertilizer can has like an additional recipe now I get even some more the actual product that I need so that's quite a crazy amount I just made didn't think about it uh, all the way through let's see how much that's worth that's a pretty insane amount of hummus I believe oh yeah that's exactly four stacks alright so this is enough unlike the bug earth I don't need you don't need that much I have pretty much a crazy amount of fertilizer at the moment as far as I'm aware um, alright got this also need the power lines so I need the golden one and this and change them into the energy ones so this and this and also we'll need a transposer and some tubes I'm also going to need to use some buildcraft pipes to automate the process of getting trees back into the stuff but I'm gonna handle with this just one second so this go down this go down um, pit fired engine let's try making this as compact as possible alright this I don't want I don't want uh, my arboretum, I don't know what, placing stuff in my ender chest which is specifically just for um, for the peat so I'm gonna have to take it off I will need a timer I forgot to bring and a redstone torch as well or a lever, whatever suits me. What do I have available? I can make this one quickly. And a timer. Do I have a timer available? No, I need to make one. Oh crap, I'm short on materials. the music that when it turns nighttime but it's also raining so I can't actually tell where the sun is and if it's actually turning night all right so once every 10 seconds is enough and can turn this on so it should start placing the hummus around oh wait I didn't stack this in it yet Oh, and I forgot saplings as well. 
How many do I have? I think I have like a stack or something. Yeah, 35. Not a stack, half a stack, but that's fine. Yeah, it's cleaning the area. This is gonna take a while, and actually in the meantime I'm gonna see how exactly do I want to automate this. I'm gonna need... Um, basically the products here will be wood and saplings and um, wood saplings and sand. Now sand is trash. Or you know what? I'm gonna simply send everything here. I'm gonna make another universal green chest. To stand stuff here, I'm gonna make another chest that will be sorted into. So let's make another one of those chests. Do I have uh, enough obsidian? I think I'm gonna be a little bit short. No, actually no problem. Ender chests are really a blessing. They're probably one of the better things available for the modded Minecraft stuff. Alright, this will be here, and I'm also going to make... Um, wait, let me store some of this junk. This and... This in the red power chest, alright. So I'm also going to make another... Um, I think I want to make golden chest. So I need 8 of those, 4 of those, and 8 of those to be holding all my wood and saplings. Alright, so this... Copper... Iron... And gold. This will be here. I will need another coloring. What am I not using yet? I am using black. Um, I'm not using green. Alright. I should have... No, I'm out of green as well. I need to harvest some more cacti. Alright, be right back. Alright, so just harvested two full cacti, but I grown four back, so I'm gonna have some more in the future. So I just need two. No, don't, I always forget, yeah. You first have to smelt it, and the uh, crafting process is making it into um, basically the thing that makes waterproof piping. And if you're asking yourself, what is this? I was basically making 64 coolant cells, and because they don't stack, I set up this small system here that will. Uh, transpose them out. Uh, very something temporary, just to, so I can make overclocker upgrades for everything. Don't worry, it's not gonna stay there forever. Alright, so I'm gonna use... By the way, I'm creating the light green color, the line. That's the green color I'm using, not actually using uh, the green that you're thinking I'm using. See, li that's light green, not green. Alright, so um, lime green Two flax seeds, and do I have enough? Uh, yeah, I do have enough. And I will also need to make a paintbrush. So, one, two, three, and four. And I will also need. Actually, I won't need. Alright, so let's get tube in here, give it the, that coloring and set this up and also let's set up a sign so I don't forget by mistake that this is wood and saplings. Now I'm gonna have to set um, not sure if this is green or let's see. What's do we have another green here? Yeah, that's mostly definitely the light green. So it's not this. All right. Oh, 
Okay, now it's night time. Let's collect some of this snowball so it doesn't slow my thing too much. I take one out so I can use it to filter with it. And I'm gonna cut cut one tree down and go to sleep as well, so bread back. Alright, so let's set up the filtering system here. So the green one will be saplings and wood and sand which is a byproduct will automatically go be sorted into the yellow area um, can store some wood in here and now I just need to set up the piping now let's see what pipes do I need I need the insertion pipes oh, not so not so complicated and advanced wood no Alright, so pretty much just insertion pipes and normal uh, stone pipes. I don't have any smooth stones, so let's get some. I also can store the paint in here. So, let's make two stacks of normal smooth stone and one stack of insertion. Insertion is quite a handy, uh, very handy pipe and considering its prices, I think that's, like, it's too handy to be that cheap, to be honest. I don't know why this is like this, but I don't know. Alright, so... The logger, let's see, um, it's gonna send the saplings from the top and I don't know if it's also gonna send the apples from the top which can basically can also be a result of these trees. But you know what? I'm gonna place the saplings like this. They should cover this problem. And um, let's see here. And I can basically insert the sapling any side here. You know what? I think I'm set. Oh, you wait. Know what? Not that. Not just yet. No, it's a bit of a problem like this. Now I think I'm set. Is it not connecting on purpose? Or yeah, it's a visual bug. Um, all right, all right. So the arboretum will output sand automatically here. I think it should do it automatically. I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. And. Oh no, wait, I will have to give it power. Alright, but the logger will automatically send saplings and apples in here. And the arboretum will... Alright, I'm going to need to have a redstone engine and a wooden pipe in here. And I basically want to send all the excess materials here. This should be an iron pipe, and I'm going to need a wooden pipe. All right, bear back. All right, so also just about to make the iron transport pipes, and also brought along a teleport tether, so that uh, farm is always loaded, even when I'm not here, and operating. All right, so wooden transport pipe here and let's keep it on with this wait it's working the other way around yeah and accidentally just took out a cobblestone <laughs> from my sorting chest all right and this iron pipe what oh, it can be a wooden pipe it's just the same wooden pipes 
they have two functions. One is to take uh, items out of inventories, and the second one is not connecting to other, other wooden pipes. So this way can have it sorted just like this. I wanted to use an iron pipe, I just figured out that this will be a lot simpler. Alright, so this engine is being powered by PIT, coming from here. Um, this transposer feeling this, this is always on. Again, I want to set up gates here to make sure this is always on, only when... I know what, actually this should be operating a little bit differently, so it's fine when it like this, when it's always on. Uh, this logger will harvest stuff. Um, logs. Oh wait, I didn't set up the logs yet. Let's see. It should be coming out uh, even when it's not powered. So I think I'm gonna have this chest move over here. Um, this pipe over here. All right, and here I'm going to use an iron transport pipe just to make sure that whatever comes out automatically goes in here. All right, so it might look a little bit messy, but that's the way I roll. And this is not cooperating. Now it is. All right, so whatever. Uh, the logger spits out, which is basically either sapling or apples, will come from the top. Try to be inserted in here. I'm at the moment cons a little bit worried about uh, the apples part, but eventually it shouldn't be a problem. And everything is being fed into my sorting machine and then being sorted, hopefully, without any mistakes. Awesome. Alright guys, so I think that's a nice timing to end this episode. Quite lengthy one, this one. Uh, this time around, but I can finally also start making golden ore gates. There we go. No, not end gates. I want ore gates. There we go. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next time.